Welcome back to Apples and Tiara. So today is Sunday and I wanted to vlog a little bit today to just kind of show you guys how I prep for the week um, food wise. So I'm just in the kitchen. The boys are over there playing um, and I just wanted to show you what I'm prepping for this week's meals. So I am um, peeling and slicing some cucumbers. I'm also washing strawberries and blueberries. I'm gonna do my best to be bright this week, which just means that I'm back to bright line eating. Um, there's a video all about my bright line eating journey and I will just link it right here um, in this video so you guys can check that out if you have questions about what bright line eating is. Um, but basically, I'm going to be having two servings of vegetables um, per day and two servings of fruit per day. So I'm just trying to like pre-cut and slice and portion all of that so that in the mornings when I'm getting ready for work I can just kind of like grab a bag of fruit and veggies and I don't have to worry about pre like cutting any of that while I'm at school because believe it or not sitting there and cutting a cucumber up at school just steals like five minutes of my time and all of my time is crucial when I'm at work. So anyway, that's what we're working on today. Um, and then I will show you guys what I usually eat for lunch when I'm at work. And um, yeah, so let's get to it. So with Bright Lane Eating, the idea is to have six ounces of vegetables per serving. So I'm supposed to be having six ounces of veggies for lunch and six ounces of veggies for dinner. And then I have six ounces of fruit for breakfast and six ounces of fruit for lunch. So I need to have two portions of each a day. So what I'm going to do is just weigh my cucumbers out on my little scale. And then I'm going to put them in little baggies so that in the morning I can just grab a bag and throw it in my lunchbox. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same process, except this time I'm gonna chop up and portion out some bell pepper. I really like to eat bell pepper with like a cheese dip or some sort of like cheesy thing. So I'll kind of show you guys. Um, for lunches and breakfast, it kind of just depends on how I'm feeling for the day, but like for lunch I could have, um, I usually do like my cucumbers with goat cheese and this acts as my protein and my fat. So I'll just measure out, technically this whole thing is like four ounces, so I could eat this entire thing for lunch, and this is my protein. Um, and then I also like to get the boar skin um, cheeses. These are like fine herbs and garlic, and I, again, this is like five ounces, so I could eat almost this entire thing with like my bell peppers. I just kinda like smear the cheese inside of my bell pepper, and then that's my lunch, um, and then I would have fruit. Um, I also really like this buffalo chicken dip from Trader Joe's. And again, I'll just dip my veggie in the dip and then that's my whole lunch. Um, we also really like the spinach artico artichoke dips, um, spinach, um, or sorry, artichoke jalapeno dip. Uh, you could do cream cheese, same kind of thing. So I utilize the cheese or the cheesy dip as my protein for my lunch. And that way I'm not just eating like chicken and rice and veggies all the time and I don't get bored. And it makes it a way easier for me to lose weight because I'm actually eating things that I really like. And it's more of like a snack than it is a meal. So I'm gonna do the same process now for my bell pepper.
Oh, All right, so I've got about, let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah. I have about two days worth of veggies at this point, but I'm not gonna go buy more until I for sure eat through these. I can always run to the store halfway through the week. I also have some broccoli in there that I can cook up and dip in, like I can also dip broccoli in here and it would probably taste delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the fruit and then put it all in the fridge. And now for my favorite, favorite fruit to eat throughout the week, pineapple. doing is washing and rinsing some blueberries for Scott. I'm not a huge fan of blueberries. I'll eat them if they're like the only thing available, but they're not my favorite fruit. But I'm trying one of these pop and bottle vanilla oat milk lattes with collagen. Now it's all dry. We got them at Aldi. It looks pretty good. There's 80 milligrams of caffeine in it. Now we and since it's two o'clock, I think it'll be okay. Yeah. But the problem is the there are eight grams of sugar in this. So if I'm going to be bright, I can't drink this after yeah, I'm being bright. So I'm going to taste it today. That way, tomorrow when I start being bright again, I can be on track. See if it's any good. I've used all your collagen. Mm, you did? Yeah. Mommy? I put it in my protein shakes. Mommy, I wanna They make um collagen. Uh, Alani New makes a collagen Mommy? now. They make them for Mommy, me. Mommy, Okay, it's really good. Mommy. Hmm. What are you boys up to? We're playing go. car wash. Playing car wash. Car wash. Yeah. Oh, well, you're gonna need some other water. Maybe try the different water. Not hot enough. You didn't turn his car colors at all. So since we're here, a ton of you have been asking about an update on the house, and so I'll just kind of show you guys around what is still kind of going on here. Um, so we obviously have like a lot of boxes that are still out um, because we don't have a full entertainment center like we used to have. Our entertainment center before had a lot of storage, and a lot of those boxes had everything in our entertainment center inside of it. Um, and so right now our entertainment center looks like this. It's in the process. Scott and a friend are actually building it. Um, so we have an electric fireplace that does act as a space heater. And then we plan on putting, what? Um, in just a minute. We plan on installing these bookshelves and cabinets with some trim around it so that it all looks like it's built in. 
and then painting the middle, I don't know what color yet, we're thinking a couple different colors. Something to go really well with this rug, um, which is from Well Woven, by the way. Um, but a lot of the other stuff that we still need to do is like, the painters have to come back and touch up a lot of things because they painted around like, you can kind of still see the nails there. Um, those aren't actually nails, that's just where they sprayed over the top of the nails and when we remove them, it's the old color. So, um, but we don't have baseboards either um, and our blinds are not hung because they have to come and touch up the, um, the paint. What is up with the... Do you see those marks up there? Those are spider webs they sprayed over. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's great. Um, so, yeah, so we still <laughs> we're just waiting on um, that kind of stuff. We still need, like, the sides of our cabinets put back on. Um, like, you can see that cabinet right there doesn't have, like, the side panel put on it. And then the bathroom okay, has the same problem. There's no side panels. Our footings are not on our cabinets, so, like, the little footing pieces are not on there yet. Um, there's still a lot of like drywall patching that needs to happen. Like this has to be redone. And then like around the door still needs to be redone. Um, no trim in here. And then um, all of the like trim around all of the doors has to be redone and replaced. But there is a lot of like back ordered supplies so like all of our doors we we went ahead and hung them because we are still living in here um and so they're gonna have to still like put all the trims back on all the doors and same thing in here like these are our cabinet sides um those have to go on so not a ton ton of work needs to be done in the house as of right now um just honestly like we haven't hung anything we haven't really decorated because everything is gonna have to be moved off of the walls when they come to do the trim. <laughs> Must be three o'clock. So like in here, this is my office and second guest room. Um, we have to take some stuff down and like there's a lot of stuff to hang up, but um, it is livable and it is a lot more comfortable than the hotel was. So we're perfectly content living here with it being like that. Um, but anyways, so I think what I'm going to do next while the boys are playing is I'm going to sit down and edit a vlog from last week. I did, um, vlog a couple of days last week, so I have a little one to film and then schedule. And then if I have time, I might sit down and edit this vlog, but I do need to put some laundry away and, um, and then I'll be kind of done with my like Sunday chores. So yeah, I'm gonna at least take it into my bedroom and put it on the bed, lay it out flat. <laughs> Do a little Amazon haul for you guys. So um, I had to reorder a couple of things that I've been loving. Um, so I use the Youth Range Facial Stuff. Um, I actually get this on Amazon. It started out with me doing a couple of um, posts for them for like trying out the product and sharing it and I actually fell in love with this stuff and it's been doing really good for my face so this is the vitamin C facial cleanser it's made with aloe vera green tea and seaweed and then we have the anti-aging super serum I haven't tried this one yet I've been using the um what's it called I've been using the retinol serum, but I wanted to give something else a try. So this has pretty much everything in here except for the retinol. Um, and then I bought this Superberry Dream Cleansing Balm. I wanted to have something to take my makeup off with that I didn't have to double dose my cleanser. Because what I was doing was I was washing my face twice with the cleanser, not this one specifically, but like my other facial cleanser. And I was just going through it so quickly because I had to do one layer to get my makeup off and then another layer to cleanse my face. So I got this one just to be a makeup remover. So it is made with prickly pear hydrolonic acid. It is a flash melting formula that's supposed to remove uh, makeup cleansing balm. I know you can't really read that, but um, all of these items were around $20, so looking right here is about $100, which is insane to me. Um, just this is $100. 
Um, they really jacked the price up on my favorite makeup, which is the Super BB Physicians Formula BB Powder. Um, but I love this stuff. It's actually all that I'm wearing today, and I really like it for like everyday makeup for work and just when I'm not trying to be full glam. So anyway, all of this was like $100. This was like $25, $25, 25 and this was like $16, so with tax and everything. Um, but I'll let you guys know if I like this. We'll see. I wonder if it smells good. It sort of has like a lemon scent, so that's better than a poke in the eye. <laughs> It's not bad. Oh, also another house update. They ended up putting, um, they weren't gonna actually put um, any new floors in our master bathroom or a laundry room, but when the people came in to remove items from our home, they actually ended up damaging the tile in the laundry room and in here when they were um, doing like the dry out and everything. So we ended up getting new floors in our master and in our laundry room. And so these are the same floors that go throughout the house, but um, we weren't gonna have that before. So it was kind of like a super nice surprise. Here's like another upgrade for your house. Um, we did get new furniture for our master bedroom. I don't think I've showed you guys this before. Um, you'll just have to ignore like all of the Amazon boxes and stuff, but this is the Ray Lynn range from Ashley Home Furniture. And it's beautiful, I love it. It really makes the room look nice. Um, and we have the chest of drawers and the nightstands. And then we also have the dresser. So it really does make the room look complete. Um, and we have the mirror that we've had forever, but it is um, really beautiful. So once the people come to do our trim, like we have some in here, but it has to be redone anyway because it got destroyed. Um, when they were doing the renovations so like you can see that's kind of like broken off but they're gonna have to rip all of it off anyway um, once we get all of the trim installed and the paint touched up then we'll start hanging things up um, like we have pictures and stuff nothing is actually hung up in the house at all minus like a few little things that are on walls that don't really matter so anyway that is kind of like a house update and yeah mm -hmm.